Welcome back to another Speed Clean and Organize with me. I hope this gives you some cleaning motivation. My name is Ree from mummyof4.com. I hope you enjoy this video. Make sure you are subscribed, you hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos. Every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday at 7 p.m. I do lots of these speed cleans as well as vlogs, all that kind of thing. Let's start this power hour by emptying the washing machine because let's face it, we've all done it. Well, let me know if you've done it. But leaving wet washing in the machine so long that it goes a bit stinky, you've got to put it back on. Is there anything more annoying than that? So we've emptied that out. We're going to get that in the dryer in a second. Next job, I'm going to sort the dirty laundry into loads ready to go. So I'm going to have one load I'm going to shove on now. And then future me can easily, when she's got five minutes, pop on another load because it's already sorted. So that's always good to do if you've got five minutes to sort the load into ready, you know, colors or by towels or whatever, however you sort your laundry, get them sorted into like ready to go loads. And then it's just easy, chuck it all in, grab your method or whatever you choose to use. I like method, I like the purple one for the detergent and the pink one for the softener. Whack that in, get the machine going and that way the machine is working while you're cleaning. That is multitasking. This is Zara, my youngest. She's dressed as Alice in Wonderland today because she wears normal clothes and then she likes to put dressing up stuff over the top and if that keeps her happy, then I can get on cleaning. She also wants gloves, no idea why. But there she is, in she gorgeous. In she gorgeous, my little helper. So now she's got her gloves on, ready for the clean. And let's sort out the dryer. Let's empty the dryer fluff and put the dryer fluff in the dryer fluff bin. Now I didn't have a dryer fluff bin until I was in my late 30s well, mid thirties, I guess I'm mid thirties. Um, until then, till this year actually, I was walking to another room to put dryer fluff into the other room, which I now realize is insane. So if you've not got a little dryer fluff, then get yourself one. Now I'm doing what something I wasn't planning on doing. I'm using some Method Anti-Back Wild Blue Box. It's not amazing. To clean the front of my uh, dryer and my washing machine because this wasn't in my plan, but I've just realized it is absolutely stinking. Covered in marks. There's lots of like drippy, horrible things that I'm guessing is just from washing that was wet and being chucked in the dryer or whatever, dripping, but it just looks utterly disgusting. So I'm giving it a little bit of a wipe over. This is not something I do much. It's just something that I've realized, oh, by the way, this is gross. <laughs> this is fantastic. This little gadget helps to stack my uh, washing machine, my dryer, because we've not got a great deal of space. And this drawer sort of shelf thing is fantastic, but ugh, it's so disgustingly dirty. So, so dirty. Really needed a wipe. I've been meaning to do that for a bit. Now that dirt, I have noticed. So a little microfiber cloth, wiping over that, and then wiping all the way down over the machine. The machine's on, so I can't exactly open the inside of the doors. This is not like a deep clean, this is more like a wipe over all the yucky bits. I mean, I really don't do this much. Do you ever wipe and clean the outside of your machines much? How often do you do that? Let me know. It's probably a lot more often than I do it, if I'm honest. Now for sorting some laundry. Now, I want to talk while I'm just sorting some laundry about Oh, first, socks. <laughs> I keep them separate. I, sort, I grab all the socks and put them separately so I can pair them up. I wanted to talk about how the whole housework thing is really a never-ending thankless task. And that sounds really miserable and depressing, doesn't it? But I just wanted to be honest. My house is never all clean all at once. I do my power hours and I get certain areas of it all clean and sparkly and looking great. But there are other areas I don't get to because I'm a busy mum with four children and there's always something in my house that needs sorting and cleaning. Now, I love nothing more than a whole house clean because when the whole house is clean, everyone's a little bit more respectful of it and it just looks amazing. Oh, very quickly, these are my reusable colour catchers and when they go a bit grey and gross, I use them to mop up spills. Anyway, so when you've done the whole house, Everyone's a bit more respectful, it looks amazing, it feels amazing, it's easy to keep on top of. But in reality, trying to clean your whole house when you are a busy mum, whether or not you work, I mean, I work full time from home and I run back and forth to school three times a day. So trying to fit in cleaning around that, oh, that's masks, masks we have to wear to do school pickups. Nice. We're wearing masks at school. Anyway, trying to fit in cleaning around my children and working and all the things is really hard work. And my whole house cleaning doesn't happen much. Oh, those are little wet bags I used to put my dirty masks in. That's what I was trying to show you. I didn't realize I was gonna talk about this whole philosophical cleaning thing while I was doing laundry, but here I am talking about it. So my point is, if all you can squeeze in is a power hour, then great, it's better than not doing it. If all you can squeeze in is five minutes while you're in the bathroom you have, and you've realized it needs a wipe over, do it. If you can't manage to do your whole house and get your whole house clean in one go, because I can rarely do that, then really you're not alone. Honestly, 
I would love to have the time to do that. But I've got these things called children that keep, you know, asking to be fed or picking up from school. So <laughs> in reality, I just wanted to let you know that if you have time to do that, then fab, great. But if you don't, do not beat yourself up. Squeeze in cleaning and housework where you can. I feel like I have to do laundry every day. I get questions about this a lot, but mm -hmm, for the pressure to do laundry every day. The reason I put pressure on myself to do laundry every day is because I hate that feeling of overwhelm that comes with having so much to do and it's like a big backlog. It, that does stress me out. So doing it little and often, getting on a load every day, I mean, you don't have to. You, you do your own laundry, your own cleaning, whichever way it works for you. But for me, I find by keeping on top of it, doing a little bit every day, squeezing in the power hours, doing your microwave minutes, which are just literally, while you're waiting for something like microwave, wiping something, tidying something, just doing these little bits, little and often. It's not like a big, deep clean all the time. It's just maintenance and stopping it becoming overwhelming, because I have been there. I've been there where every room in my house is such a tip, I do not know where to start, and it's so disorganized, and it's really stressful and really depressing, and then, it just feels like you can never get on top of it. So just do little and often. Break it down, little bits at a time. Squeeze it in where you can. And do not beat yourself up for what you've not achieved. I'm talking to myself as much as I'm talking to you because honestly, I beat myself up all the time for stuff I have not done. I think it's a mum guilt thing. I think maybe it's a female thing. I don't know, let me know. Do you beat yourself up for things you have not done around the house or as a mum, whatever? I know I do. Right, what I'm actually doing now, back to what I'm actually doing. I'm emptying out the laundry. So I've sorted the laundry, everyone's got their own box in the laundry room. So each one of those boxes is for a different person. They've got their all name labels on them. I'm now emptying each box into one of these little baskets to carry them upstairs. I could technically take them upstairs in those, they're called droner boxes that fit into the calyx, they're from Ikea. But if I do that, then they're sort of like a bit cardboardy and they get a bit battered. So I prefer to transport them around the house in these little like rattan plastic baskets because when they are emptied, I can stack them easily. Zara is being so helpful, bless her, by just asking me to re-button up her Alice dress. So we're also gonna take these socks upstairs, but we're gonna pair them first. The reason I find them um, hard to pair just as I go is because I've got so many little navy socks for the girls because they wear navy socks to school. I find it easier to kind of clump them all together and pair them up. It's just how I found it a bit less stressful, a bit easier. So those baskets are going out to the kitchen, they're downstairs things, and then all these baskets are heading on the way upstairs. Now, um, I've got some wet laundry that will need to go into here. So before I can hang up the wet laundry in order to dry it off, I need to get rid of the stuff that is dry. So all I'm doing is like feeling down to see what's dry and what's not. This is far too full. When it gets too full, things don't dry nicely. So what I tend to do is shove some hangers between each item to allow it some air around things. Oh, that I want to be in the video. Um, I, if by putting hangers between each item, like say five hangers, 10 hangers, something like that, all squished together, then the clothes can't physically get put too closely together. Um, I did used to tumble dry pretty much everything. Um, but I find tumble drying things really wears things out more than washing them. So anything that like I, is a top that isn't school uniform or like nice leggings or my jeans or anything like that, I try not to tumble dry. Even if it says it's tumble dryable, I try to just hang them in this space. And as long as I hang them up straight, sort of within 24 hours, they, they dry quite nicely. And then they can just be hung up upstairs. I also find things need pretty minimal ironing when you use this method because they're kind of hung in shape and I hate lining. I will do anything I can to avoid lining. So hanging things up in shape, using crease releaser sprays or even doing literally a, a five minute low heat um, in the dryer once it's already dry helps. Um, so these are my Dettol things. I have these delivered from Amazon. I will lick those. I'm using that to disinfect things like nappies. Uh, Zara still wears one cloth nappy in the night. My cloths and my face masks. Because let's face it, that's a thing now, isn't it? Here in 2020, that's a thing. Now I'm doing something I've not done for ages, which is cleaning all this bit of my laundry room. I looked at it as I was looking at my, uh, my washing machine things and realizing that I needed to wipe over, I took a little glance around and realized, ew, 
like, ew, that's how disgusting that is. It's really quite gross. So I'm just wiping over these little surfaces. Because I spray the crease releaser, I try not to spray the crease releaser over the floor because it makes it like an ice rink. So I spray it over the units and then it just, I guess it kind of attracts dust or something. Either that or it's just, I've been really, <laughs> really lax and haven't dusted around here for a little while. Look, stuff fall, falls down the back of this table. I bought that little table from Ikea. It's like a kid's table. Um, and I used it instead of a shelf. Um, those pole things you can see that I just shoved behind, they are my, um, what do you call them? They're like backdrop things. I take photos on Instagram. And then I'm just wiping over the floor and the skirting board, which is so stinking dusty. I mean, honestly, it's a little shameful, but I should be ashamed because, you know, I'll, I'll make it a shed. <laughs> I don't know. Have you got little corners? Make me feel better. Have you got corners of your house that you're like, oh my goodness, I'm so embarrassed by how dusty that is? I'm sure I'm not the only one. I hope I'm not the only one anyway. In here, this is where the basket lives that we keep the dirty, damp laundry. So any cloths, things like that. I don't like to put damp laundry in with clothing and stuff. Ooh, Christmas stuff. These little ballerinas arrived from, arrived, what was that one way to say, arrived from John Lewis today, and they're going on the tree. That little uh, silver thing is my Christmas bauble tree thing for my office. And I'm just wiping over this little unit under the box in boiler, that is the boiler above there, which you will have seen if you saw some of our like, home renovation updates. And now I'm just going to do the windowsill. Um, it does smell so good. Do you mind what smell vision? This wild rhubarb stuff smells amazing. My office is just kind of part of, it's like a partitioned with a big shelving unit, but it's basically part of the laundry room. So I thought, may as well plod on with this. Tidying up the children's little pen unit here. This is like a little stationary organizer thing that I bought when we were doing homeschooling. And the fact that they've got access to pens all the time, I'm gonna keep it in the office. It's not, um, they only have access to pens when I'm in the room with them because I'm scared of them, you know, drawing on things that are not paper. But because they've got all this access to pens and things when they are with me, then they're actually, their pen control, their handwriting's really improved. Even my little one has got really good pen control really good at tracing, colouring and stuff like that. So I will link that little, um, what's it called, down below, the little station with my thing, in case you want to grab one. Now I'm going to wipe over my desk. Um, I don't like my desk to be too cluttered. It looks really cluttered actually from this kind of shot, but I do like to keep it sort of quite minimal stuff on it. I'm looking at my desk now as I'm holding this little voiceover. I've got my pen pot, which I've moved, my planner, my camera, which obviously I'm filming with in the shot, so it's not on my desk. And then I've got my computer and my little keyboards and things. And then I always have my iPad, uh, which I'm just sort of gonna move now so I can clean under there. So there's quite a few bits and pieces, but they're all there like functional bits on my desk to keep me productive. Um, but I don't really clean my desk as much as I should. And then I look at it as I'm working and think, you so gross and disgusting. I guess it doesn't help, it's white. <laughs> in my house it's white. It really shows up for dust. Uh, never mind, never mind. Anyway, so I'm just putting it all back together. And I know next time I go to work, I'll be like, ah, oh, it smells so nice and it smells so clean. And it will make me happy. So now we've got to do the floor, haven't we? I do like to try and work down where I can. So I'm just going to give a little vacuum to the, uh, the floor. Uh, I've got quite a lot of stuff in my office. I've got to move the relevant bits and pieces out of the way. That's a little bin. I just moved my paper shredder out of the way and just want to pull the little children's desk out. There's always some pens and things and glue sticks falling down the back there. Oh, there goes the chair. Knock that over. But this room probably doesn't get as much TLC from cleaning and things as it should. I have to do the children's bedrooms quite frequently because they make such a mess, especially with baby. So the baby, she's three. Um, but my office probably doesn't get cleaned as much as it should. That under there, under that, look, can you see there's all the canvases that I don't know what to do with and some boxes that are actually empty. So my little sorting box I bought from Ikea, ready for when I sort my big Calyx unit. So stay tuned, make sure you are subscribed for when I do a little sort my office out because as much as on the face of it, it looks sort of reasonably tidy, it does need a darn good sorting. Ew, 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 ew. That's all I can say about my skirting boards. Gross. That was a lot of dust. A lot, a lot of dust. Now we're doing the floor in the laundry room bit. So basically, if you've not seen my house tour, the other side of that shelving unit that you can see on the right of the screen is my office. And that big shelving unit 
separates the room into laundry room and office. Just vacuuming up the mat, uh, it's getting quite mucky because we go in and out to the garden and my husband's working on the extension so a lot of muck gets brought in through here. That little step is because I am vertically challenged and I can't reach the top of the units very easily. Uh, now let's sort out a bit of stuff in the lounge. I need to do some cleaning and sorting in here. I'm pretty tight on time, so this is not going to be a deep clean in the lounge. I just want to wipe over this table the children play on. And look at Zara, she's helpful. She calls it dustering. So helpful, darling. Thank you, sweetie. And now I'm going to get her cheap flow out of the way onto the table. Uh, look at the beautiful model that she has built. She's been a very good girl. She found those bases as I was clearing up. I can get those stuffed down the back in the laundry room because they don't fit in the toy boxes. Just picking all these things up. I do spend my life picking up toys. I, true, I do try and have a rule with the children. They get out one box of toys at the time and then when that box is finished they put that way and get another one out. Right, quick wipe over the table. My husband did recently varnish this. Uh, he sanded it and varnished it. So it is, uh, we've got rid of the, the tablecloth. Now to wipe over this unit, this thing gets so disgustingly dusty. This Calix unit, the children, it's, it's like toy boxes underneath and just general storage and they kind of play on the top of it. But gosh, it just, I don't know, are we just, is it a very dusty house? Is it maybe just because there are so many of them? Am I just not dusting enough? Or is it, uh, oh my goodness, she's got a thing on her head. <laughs> That is the, one of those foot things, it's, what are they called, the slipper sock things, the, not slipper sock, the mop socks, that's what I call them. She had a mop sock in her head, which is what I put on my feet so my socks don't get icky when I am mopping the floor. Anyway, I'm not sure why our house gets dusty, it might be because I've got loads of building work done. Oh, that is an Ikea candle holder and I use it as a remote control holder so that we don't lose the remote controls. And honestly, I've done that since we moved to this house. It's a game changer because I could never find the blooming remote controls before, but I've allocated them as a home. This is where they live, and my family do mostly put them back, in all fairness to them. Right, now, to pull all the stuff, all those bo uh, boxes, baskets, up the stairs. Absolutely blinking oodles of it. All the clean, dry washing that needs to be sorted. So we're running up and down the stairs. I really need to clean the glass on the stairs, look at all the stinky fingerprints. I'm not sure if I'm going to have time to do that. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. If I don't get time, then I hope not to beat myself up about it can't promise that either. Right, children, come and get your washing please. The children put away their own washing. Even the baby, who's three. Okay, she doesn't do it totally on her own, but I definitely make her join in. But all the others, Bella is five, Will is eight, and Dylan is 16, have given their own stuff, and they put away their own washing. Sometimes they need a little bit of help. Bella might need a bit of help. William is totally independent, and Zara needs quite a lot of help. But honestly, Getting the children to put away their own stuff has been a game changer and it just teaches them skills they're going to need for life, doesn't it? Um, I don't actually keep towels in our airing cupboard, I keep them in a box in my bedroom so that I can sort of free up the airing cupboard space. Uh, there's, well, there's not a lot of space in there anyway because there's a tank, there's a water tank in there. But I do try and free up the space for being able to dry things. So when I come in from school and my coat or whatever is absolutely soaking, I can just hang it in the airing cupboard and it's a lot warmer. So it's for drying like things I need to dry quite quickly, like a coat that I need again, as opposed to my drying area downstairs in the laundry room, which does have a radiator in it, but it's not super hot. So that's why I haven't got towels in the airing cupboard. So these baskets you will see me pulling out of my wardrobe. So I built in wardrobes on the left. I don't actually have drawers. Uh, my husband has a chest of drawers over the other side of the room. But I have a Calyx unit with all these little baskets and I pull out the baskets and I actually prefer it to drawers. I pull the basket all the way out and then I can sort whatever I'm sorting, fold it in neatly, and then I put it away and I slot it back in. And because I can pull it all the way out, like I probably wouldn't have a drawer without drawers separate anyway, so I'd probably have like little mini baskets within drawers like I used to in the last house. But this system worked perfectly well for me. It's meant that we were able to repurpose Calyx units from the old house that didn't really fit anywhere else anyway. So rather than binning them or having to get rid of them, 
then it's, it's just been a really good system for us. So you can check out the full home renovation series if you want to see how the whole house came together because none of the rooms had built-in wardrobes and we kind of had to design them all ourselves and a lot of it was out of repurposed IKEA furniture um, to form the inside of the wardrobes and you can also see a wardrobe tour and like a wardrobe organisation video. So I will link all those below if you're interested. Um, I've also got a blog post that will link below with all my best wardrobe organisation gubbins in there, just like that legging hanger that I've just hung. And there you go, there's another one, a legging hanger has been brilliant because look how many different things you can fit on one hanger. Honestly, brilliant, love legging hangers. Running out of time and I'm going to have to go and see to my children, so that is the end of today's clean. Thank you so much for watching. If, if you, you like this, this video, video, please, please give, give it a, a thumbs up. up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when we post more videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday at 7pm. Thanks guys. If you want to watch my latest video, it is across here. And another video you may like for my channel is just down here. <laughs> so bye!